on the red main power and wait your computer to end in 7 system. Double click on this HC software. After entering the software, a window pops up automatically, prompting each drive motion access whether to return to the home position. Click to start back to the origin. For the solder printer, each axis of motion starts to run, taking care that no objects are placed inside the machine. For video shooting, normally, the safety door of the machine is closed. In the process of returning to the original position, first check the squeegee blade and the template to see if they will collide. After each axis of motion returns to the home position, the display shows that you have finished, and click Exit. The machine pops up the Operation Permission Management window, select Engineer Permission. The password is SHC. Click to return. Click on New. I forgot to take out the stencil template before creating a new program to prevent touching. There are many places to operate when you click to loosen the stencil. New program, name the program first. When finished, click OK to enter the menu. Import PCB length, width, thickness. PCB dimensions can be measured at this location. After measuring the length, width, and the thickness, the data is entered into the software. Enter the value. If the PCB shipping width is small, you can change this place. PCB thickness, according to the actual thickness to fill in. Before modifying to fill in the PCB length, width and thickness data, take out all the symbols on the transport track to prevent collision. If the width of the PCB size is large, now to change the small, the top block must be taken away. Then at the bottom, click next to go to another screen. When I click next, a pop-up window appears. Do I need to adjust the current width? If the current width is the same as the PCB width, click no. The current width dimension does not match the dimension width of the PCB. Click yes. Click on the one straight one and the squeegee moves backwards. Click the platform to rise and place the ejector pin in the transport track to support the PCB board. Check the box to have confirmed and then remove the check mark to return to the position. Put the PCB symbol or support block, do not symbol, near the transfer belt, because it is easy to crash. Place the PCB on top of the symbol and place the symbol in the right position area. If the PCB board width size is larger than the transport track, the PCB cannot just put in. Click on the next step. Does the platform loosen, drop, click yes. 
It is because the width of the transport track is too small and may not be measured correctly. Increase the value a bit, such as 0.5 mm. Click Next, another pop-up window appears, whether to adjust the width of the transport track, click Yes. The width will be adjustable. Next adjust the width and click OK. The PCB can now be placed on the transport track and then click on Auto Position. Second button below, Automatic Positioning. After the PCB is fixed, click the third button to return the CCD to the home position. Check if the PCB is fixed. The degree or size of the PCB fixation can be adjusted from this position. The larger the value, the larger the PCB clamping volume. PCB clamping volume, the last window can also be, this position to change the value can also be. Whether the PCB left and right can be moved. Check the height of the fixed PCB, whether the height of the transport track with the same, PCB height can be higher than 0.1 mm. Make sure there are no problems. Click the squeegee white to move backward. If the PCB height is not in line with the transport track, manually adjust the two rotary screws to raise the platform or lower it. If you want to loosen the PCB, click OK and the PCB can be taken out. PCB symbol position to be placed evenly. PCB recheck, confirm the position and click back. Click OK. Click OK. Start again and click Next. This will not need to be adjusted. Click Without. Click the second one for automatic positioning. No problem. Click CCD to return to the home position. This is to adjust the height of the PCB up and down. There are two screws. Loosen the first small screw. If the PCB thickness was 2 mm before, now it is 1 mm, you have to adjust the height. Touch it with your hand to see if it is consistent. It can be 0.05 mm higher, but not lower. PCB this for corner position to the same height. Adjustment is complete. Finish locking this screw tight. Confirm that there are no problems and click on the Z-axis platform to rise. Be sure to CCD back to the original point. The squeegee moved backwards. Click on the Z-axis to rise. The stencil stencil is then overlapped with the PCB pads positioned. Press and hold the green button to move left and right.
That's it for the video. Please see my next video. If you like my video, I hope to reach you support. Click subscribe. The next update will not miss. My contact number 86189753354491 Wacat. WhatsApp, Zello, Telegram, Skype, Email, JHKG, Gmail, com. See you soon.